Welcome back to another GoLHU.com exclusive. I'm Director of Sports Information, Doug Spadafore, and earlier today I had the privilege to sit down with LHU head coach, John Allen, as he previewed the 2014 Bald Eagle season. All right, Coach Allen, thanks for joining us as you prepare for Saturday's game at West Virginia State. Uh, coach, as we head into the first week of the season, what are the goals for the 2014 season? Well, I mean, we want to be better than we were last year. Um, you know, we had three wins last year, but we still didn't play up to our potential. And uh, we're looking forward to doing that this year. You know, we have a lofty goal of seven wins, um, and that would be a, a high expectation for us. But I think it's doable if we can put everything together. And the guys will stick together as a team, play hard each and every game, and start to really um, detail their work and detail their assignments and put that out on the field each and every Saturday. Great, thank you. Coach, if you could talk a little bit about your redshirt sophomore quarterback, Caleb Walton. Well, he's an outstanding leader. He's a great talent. He's really grown and matured over this last year. You know, playing those five games the last part of the season last year really helped him understand how the game needs to be played. Um, he's really added tremendous leadership with our group right now, and I'm, I'm really enjoying what he's doing. And he's also providing leadership to our young quarterbacks as well. So. Um, I think with those things, he should have a really good season. As long as we can continue to stay healthy offensively and some playmakers really start to step up, I think he should be in pretty good shape. You have another new guy in the backfield in both Swales. Uh, talk a little bit about Swales and the offense in general as you head into play on Saturday. Well, both Swales brings us something we really haven't had in a very long time. He brings not only speed, but he brings power to the game, to the running back position. We've always had some scat back type players, but Bo really is a thumper. Um, he's a guy that really needs to get the ball 20, 25 times a game and for him to really be effective. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing him. You know, Matt Gibson is back. He was coming off of an ailment from the springtime and we're really excited about him. Um, he's provided some, some leadership and some ball carrying skills over the last couple years. And I'm looking for those two guys to really be our one-two punch. You know, offensively, uh, you know, most of the guys are back that had played last year at the receiving core. You know, you're talking about David Cook, Smack, um, uh, Boyd, Pharrell Boyd. You know, those guys are all playmakers. They just need time and they need experience and they need plays on the, in the game to really make things happen. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited about our senior captain, uh, Matt Lubers. He should really give us uh, an added bonus in the offense with his tight end skills now. He does a great job blocking at the point of attack, and he's really done a great job route running and catching the football. So, you know, we're looking to try to hopefully open those things up, and, and hopefully one of those guys or several of those guys will start to really emerge as playmakers. Uh, Headbotting the defensive union is preseason. Uh, All-American George Christus. Talk a little bit about Christus and the defensive union as a whole. Those guys are probably our most experienced part of the team. Um, a lot of guys are returning starters or have played significant time over the last couple years. George really adds probably the best leadership out of anybody on the defensive side. Um, you know, he's been there. He's a three-year starter. He played as a freshman. Um, you know, he's a preseason All-American. He really is one of the guys that makes a lot of the calls in the back end. We trust his leadership skills and the decisions that he makes. You know, obviously Matt Kirsten is coming back with Tony Ballin really headlining our linebacking core. Um, a group that I think is pretty talented, but they're young behind them. Um, so they got to really provide great leadership for those guys to bring them along as well. And then up front, you got Scott Bankovic and, and Steve Suriano, Janosh uh, Beecham. Those guys are going to add that, that dimension up front. Guys that have played in games over the last several years. So, you know, defensively, I'm really looking for them to start off really fast, really strong. We're going to have to lean on them until the offense catches up a little bit. Um, but it's a great group to watch. Let's fast forward to Saturday at West Virginia State. Uh, coach, when the team takes the field, uh, what do you expect from them and uh, what are you looking to get out of that first road trip? Well, I'm, I'm hoping for some excitement and enthusiasm. I mean, we've been banging heads against each other for the last six months between preseason camp and spring ball. And, and now we get an opportunity to play against a different opponent so in a different jersey. Um, so that should be pretty fun. I think they're going to be excited. I think they're going to be enthusiastic about it. Uh, we're going to have to temper that enthusiasm so we stay focused on what we need to do. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to those guys are really having a, a really good game and a fun game. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a battle. Uh, West Virginia State obviously is a good football program. Um, a lot of great athletes on their roster. We, they, we saw that last year against them. We made some key plays that they didn't make. But I'm looking for them to coming back and really being ready to play at their home field. And we're going to have to go down very focused and, and, and ready to really uh, play an excellent game against them. 
Coach Allen, thank you for your time and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.